back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Oh, we're off to find a whole new place. We're done in the mountains. Get us out the street. I'm trying. Oh. shit. Okay. Let's take a look. Roger that. Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right. Let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. Yes, sir. All right, child. Oh, here we go. Up. Well, you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You roll that wheel. Strong enough to hold up a leg? Shut up. I'm just saying. <laughs> well, say less. Pick the wheel up. Hey, yeah. Hey, y'all. Nearly there. Hey, yeah. There. there we go. See? You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. Now look up there. What do you think? If they wanted trouble, some natives wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. Some of the natives. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. So, yes. Oh, cool. Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Stole them clean away from them, it was every blade of grass. Killed or Sorry, driven up my to the reservations barking. in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't, in spite of Dutch's talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our blockheaded driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. So, what happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did. When we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. That's a couple sad. years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Uh, it's a long story. We're now hot. This is shown by the flashing we sun icon in your health the right way? core. That depends. The wife and come to make sure you wear clothes appropriate for that environment. Oh, that's actually a thing in this game? That's actually really cool. No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls, our kind of place. Driscoll's? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait. What's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. 
It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you what think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, yep. not oh. him. But Careful! We kept telling him Oopsie. that fairy job didn't feel Sorry. right. Sorry. Hey, take it easy. Sorry. Mm. I was just trying to see what happened. Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. Uh. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay, thank you. Sorry, my touchpad is um, is slightly broken, so I'm just checking uh, if it still works more, like pretty good. American ginseng. All right. Come on, we can get faster than this. Hopefully, we're closer. There's no more snow here. It's just magnificent. There we go, trying to, trying to pick up some speed. Here we go, boys. Oh man, the lighting in this game is beautiful. Oh, I just got some really sharp pain in my shoulder. Ah, oh, that hurts. Track for a bit. Thanks. Hey, oh, hey. I'll jump on. I found none. Okay, let's go. Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. It went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. It's an awesome place. Look at all this forestry. The plants, the trees. This looks amazing. Here we are, gentlemen. Home Man, they got home. this place up fast. So, gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now, it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept that us you alive. Did. Kept the nooses off our neck. Yes, sir. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money and a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother, but we are safe. We make a bit of money here, then we move again, head out around them, be west of Uncle Sam, in a few months, buy some land. I hope so. Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, 
Put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough, but we are safe now. And we are far too poor. Well, so safe for now, anyways. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. Where right you are, town, boss. Little way down the track, name of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Roger that. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. When we put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Thank Ms. you, Miss Grimshaw. I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. Dang. Chapter two. Horseshoe Overlook. Couple of weeks later. Man, look at that view right there. We got off the mountain. Rode east into some trophy and I'm back in the mud. Been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier, in spite of black water and that whole mess. Looking good. Right there. Jose. Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh man, and now, uh, uh, yeah, we can do whatever we want. Can we change our clothes? Let's see, what clothes do we got? Let's see, summer gunslinger, winter gunslinger, grizzlies, outlaw. Okay, brawler outfit. Okay, ruffian, the rebel. Hmm. All right, let's see. Yeah, let's let's keep with this hat. Coats. Let's see. Uh, slightly warm pair with other warm items to, for protection from the cold. Okay. Use this one. Yeah. Vests. Yeah, let's have no vest on. What about our shirts? Let's use that one. I don't know. Let's put, yeah, let's put that one on. Pants. Let's see. Yeah, this one's better. Suspenders. All right, all right. Boots. Oh, we can change our boots. 
I like this one. All right. Really, not much we can. Oh, neckwear. You must have no necker chief. Bandanas. Yeah, let's have a, let's have that. Weapon equipment, huh? Gun belts. Arthur's gun belt. Okay, primary holster. Oh, we don't have an offhand holster. Fen doilers. Ooh. Yeah, let's put that on. All right, save outfit. Back. <laughs> I'm looking good. Let's see. Let's look at the shaving. Let's see. Wait, what am I? What am I doing? Do that one. You got that look again, Dutch. All right. Okay there, Jose. <laughs> We're looking good. Another day. All right, you can shut that music off. Um, who are we going to go to first? Let's see, map. All right, who is this, Uncle? Reverend Swanson and Javier Escuela. All right, let's go talk to let's go talk to Uncle. All right, ammo provision can be uh can be found around camp. Okay. What else is here? There's something else here. Hold on. Oh, okay. I guess we can't get anything right here. <laughs> First bank robbery newspaper. Okay. So he already has something to eat. You're Arthur, right? My name ain't no concern of yours. Um, okay, it's not letting me I'm eat. Hungry. I don't give a damn. Yep. Alright, let's go talk to Uncle. Have any luck out there? Alright. Where's Uncle? Wake up, Uncle. Ow! Oh, oh! Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. <laughs> so, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? <laughs> sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses already. <laughs> if you gonna take the old man into town, you can take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. You're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> Ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. Let's get her going. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. 
Ah, oh, man, this game's amazing. The transition from game, or from cutscenes to game is amazing. Interesting. back from over there could you yeah I'll help. Sure, no problem thanks it's the white one over there yeah I, 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 I could figure that come over here where are you going you can do it, Arthur. make sure we're going up real slow Easy there. let's study you Okay. Let's patch you. There, boy. Good boy. Let's go ahead and lead you. you All right, let's go. You're a beautiful, majestic being. I love horses. They're so majestic. There you go, sir. Here. Here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. All right, let's get on down to Valentine. Come on, let's go. To Valentine. It's literally right there, too. You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you haven't, your pulse of old lizard. Well, lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> yeah, because you guys were here. That guy got in my way. Decided to move. The guy's a little bouncy on his horse there. Woo! Smell those sheep. <laughs> or is that uncle? Probably oh, uncle. Very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people. Finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. I wish she. Okay. Take a good look around, ladies. Let's see what we got here. Go left here, down the main street. All right. Yeah, always on the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. Yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. Wow. Just like I said, the cultural center of civilization. <laughs> cultural Man, center. Finest. 
Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're gonna do what any self-respected maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. Imagine Paris and so that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be... I, no I would literally have to wait for Uncle. Kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. <laughs> Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm. <laughs> then rats with the plague. Then you. Shut up. It's the place now. Come on. <laughs> Morning. Morning. How do you do that? So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. Let's see. You know, something to pass the time while Salmon? we're on the women. Always oh, thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Plenty out on the shelves, but I got more out back. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. Shopkeeper. Uh, can we sell you anything? Ooh. I can. You're not getting anything, Arthur? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Can I sell this? It won't let me sell this. Oh, it won't let me. Okay. So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? A lamb or a sausage? I'm well, surprised the cattle this out. is a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. I don't know what the smell Let's is. Let's see. Well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. Hunting and fishing. Arrows? Nah. Let's flip the page. Bader gate. All done. Thank you um, kindly. Ah, <laughs> this should do the trick. Yep. Do That's fine ammo. whiskey. That's your some ammo. Let's go wait for them outside. All right. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the ammo. Good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Cut to black. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? what? I snuck into this fancy house. Acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Oh, Train wow. Full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night. As to get to the docks in time for the tides. In some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out in their new Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Where's Tilly and Karen? I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? Seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Oh, Excuse no. Excuse me. Oh, no. Get your hands off of her. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get the hell off of her, you son of a bitch. Hey. Hey, take it easy. There's no problem here. There will I'll be make if it. you don't get out of here right now. You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just you better get out of here before I kick your ass. I ain't doing this with you right now. 
Go wait with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Uncle! Look after her. I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Son of a bitch. But I think I saw the sheriff drunk in the Can I help you, sir? Yeah, I'm looking for my friend. There's something to be said for consistency, I suppose. You looking for a room? I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. Mid-twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you, uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. No uh, trouble now, please! Yep, no promises. Alright. Let's see what's going on. Uh-oh. Kick that door down. Hey! How are you? A friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. Ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here! Oh. What the hell are you doing here? <laughs> One good sucker punch. Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Oh, what was, what's going on there? Man, but I can't, bastard, can't lift this place. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. <laughs> just took oh, one punch for him. Okay up there? Everything's just fine. Don't worry about it. It's after you. Everything's just fine. Don't worry. Cause Thank no you, trouble. Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched uh, me. Please. Arthur punched him a lot harder. <sighs> All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Well, Wait. not, sir. No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen. Buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get. All right. I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. <laughs> Just yeah. a word. Get get away from me. Just following it. Away from me. Come back, back here. here. Oh, sorry, chicken. That's far enough. Come back here. Come on, horse, let's get it. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna catch you. Oh. <laughs> Let's search it. Potent health care. Nice. Help me! Help me! Ah, what? Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now please pull me up. Please. Just pull me up. Come on. Fine. All right. Come on. Come on up here. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. No, Aren't we all? You ain't dead. There is that. Jimmy Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh. Here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh, wow. That's very kind of you. 
But I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? <laughs> I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding. Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one sense in this year old mind. Should I shoot him? <laughs> Come on. Come on. You have a nice day now, sir. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go ahead and end it here. I'm going to do some stuff on the side so you guys don't have to see it. So if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, and I will see you all in the next video.